Yeah, there's a desire, apparently. Yeah. I mean, so in case you didn't know, this particular Scooby-Doo haunted house, like 3D board game is a bit of a bolo. If you can find it complete, uh, it can sell easily for like 35 to 45, maybe even up to 50, depending on condition. However, if you find it like this one for a quarter, and even if it's not complete, you can sell each individual piece from around five to $8. So there's definitely a bunch of profit hiding in this box. Yeah, hey. yeah. Excuse me, could I put these down while I keep looking? Would that be okay? Oh, yeah, Is yeah. that alright? Thank you yeah. very much. You want us to hold them for you? That would be okay. Yeah. Thank you. We will. A little bit of rain sometimes. More slippery. Oh, I know. I know. We'll be right back. Look at this. Well, I have to make it for $20. You want to hold on? Uh, Grandma? Thank you. I've actually got a little pile and I think I'm ready to pay if okay. that's okay. Oh, I got sure. the um, the shoes and okay. the Scooby-Doo thing. 20. Patch cards. Like that. Like that. So I figured, you know, $5 for each one of those patch cards. I think I think that would be Let me wrap that up a little bit. Let me wrap that up a little bit. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. They're so cute. <laughs> got something there? Oh, thank you. Okay. Uh, that said 25, but it also said 75. So whatever you want to do on that, it's fine. So how much? Or 25 to a family, you just give it to us. Well, how much was it? 25, 25. Huh? What? 10, 20, 25. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the quarter. <laughs> no. oh, <what? laughs> Is that right? Is that okay? Yeah, okay, yeah, thank yeah. you. Hopefully the rain stops soon. I hope it doesn't. Yeah. yeah. I hate to see antiques broken. Oh yes, I know. They gotta get home safely. Yeah. Thank y'all very much. I appreciate Thank it. You. We yeah. appreciate Have you. Have a nice Thank day. You. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are they really? Yeah. Just put it together? My, my sister opened that. It was stored at the yeah. church and she opened it to make sure it was all there. Gotcha. And it's wood. So, wow. I mean, it's it's a project. Yes. It's Is it possible to put this down while I keep yeah. it? Would that be okay? Yeah. Thank you ever so much. So that how, I know this is making offer. What did y'all have in mind? <laughs> I'm terrible at making an offer. Just as my offer. Sure, if that's okay. Thank you. May I add that to my thing? Thank you ever so much. Very pretty. Yeah. <laughs>
Picking up the big things. Hey, you are fine. <laughs> That's what my daughter did. That's what my daughter did. That's what my daughter did. Her half. If I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I bought a lot last year. <laughs> I think I'm ready. I got I don't want to show how much the jeans are, but What do I owe you? I had the dog. Yeah. I'm going to throw that in as well. Look at the lemon even. Huh? All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Good morning. we go. Thank you. Thank you. You get your little bag. Oh, that'll be perfect. Thank you. Oh, you know what? I have this over my shoulder. Oh, I <laughs> How much for the dress? It's just going to All right. I got this as well if you want to wrap anything in there that might help thank you very much there's the extra dollar for the dress that's yours thank you thank you all righty i appreciate it very much it? i got it thank you all have a wonderful day you too, honey. thank you all right, you guys, welcome to the halls. We have two yard sales here. Actually, one church rummage sale and one yard sale. Oh, I forgot to add this guy in. Okay, let me pop him down first. So um, this I paid 25 cents for as well, I'll start with. Um, so this is the Scooby-Doo Haunted House 3D board game from 2007. Uh, here, you can see a little bit better there. If you find this complete, pre-owned, this is worth a good sort of $40 or so. Uh, so keep your eyes open for this. Unfortunately, this one is not complete as most of them are not so. So um, I did still pick it up for a quarter uh, because I can part this out so I can sell like the set pieces separately, some of like the little plastic guys that are the add-ons, I can sell those separately for people who are missing certain elements of their games if that makes sense, so for a quarter it's a no-brainer, but like I said if you ever find this and it looks complete, snag it. Also from that yard sale, I got this adorable set for $5. Um, and they are they look really, really old. And she told me they were really old. They are all say made in Japan. Um, and they are measuring cups. So this one is a cup. We have a half cup, a quarter cup, and an eighth of a cup. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny and cute. And like I said, all marked Japan. Um, I have no idea what these will bring. But I know that vintage measuring cups can do really, really nicely. Just depending on the style and stuff. Um, so definitely. Definitely worth a chance for five bucks. Uh, and the last thing from that yard sale, I got two pairs of vans, brand new in the box for $10 a piece, which is an absolute bargain because vans are expensive. Uh, so these ones are kind of like an aqua blue color. Like I said, they are brand new in here. They are women's size seven. And then we have a women's seven and a half. And they're this kind of like distressed, washed, um, I don't know, star print, whatever you want to call it. I think these have been tried on one time, but they don't look like they have like any signs of like notable wear or anything. I'll just say that they were tried on once. Um, but yes, hopefully those will easily bring sort of 35 or so a piece. All right. And then we have the church rummage sale. So let's do these first. So we have three pairs of American Eagle jeans. I've mentioned before that I do not buy a lot of American Eagle jeans anymore unless I can find them in, in like a current style and in a lot. So these were a dollar a piece. So I have $3 into this and each one of them they're the same size um and they're in fantastic shape like they're they're like crispy um and they're very like heavily distressed and sort of like a skinny fit so we have this dark wash pair these are like destroyed version these are really really sort of uh got that sort of worn in look to them that's kind of like an acid wash and then we have a light wash as well um which again has a whole bunch of distressing or destroyed look to it as well so i will lock those up probably for around 40 dollars or so and again with it being fall coming up here uh, it's like the perfect time to be selling jeans all right and then the last few things i got 
got from there. We have a few breakables, which I don't pick up a lot of, but I couldn't resist some of these. This, I guess, is an ashtray. Um, I just thought it was really super cute. If you can see that with these kind of pastel roses, very like mid-century modern, and it was a quarter. Um, this I was a little bit nervous about. So it is a gold sort of trimmed and gold accented dish with all these amazing ornate butterflies all over them. It says Culver. LTD, if you can see right there, um, and it said make offer on it. Everything else there had a price, um, and it was a reasonable price, you know, a quarter, a dollar, um, but I was nervous about what they meant by make an offer, but when I asked her about it, she said, how about two dollars, and I was like, absolutely, so I went ahead and grabbed that just again because of that mid-century modern look to it, and it's pristine, and I also grabbed this, what do you call the, I'm gonna have to figure that out before I list it, um, there's a word for these I can't think of, but it is so heavy, such high, high quality. And the bottom here is genuine teak wood made in Thailand, and it is branded as well. Again, it just feels like absolute quality. So for a dollar, whether this goes in my home or I resell this, I just could not not pick that up and my best find of this particular sale was this so for five dollars uh, i got this heritage mansion dollhouse it's a vintage dollhouse basically and then this is what it looks like on the inside it's all made of wood and um, now she told me that it's complete but it's all sort of in there it needs to be put together as a project i i don't know any of that but i can sell it as is that much i do know brand new these are going for over two hundred dollars on ebay so for five dollars it's again it's a no-brainer to take a chance on it it's heavy so it's going to be kind of heavy shipping i'm going to have to sort of sell it as is with a disclaimer that it's not it's a sort of open box and i cannot confirm that every single little piece is in there but again this is such a cool project piece for somebody and i still think there's plenty of profit to be made plus it's a really interesting item all right, and that's everything I picked up from today's yard sale. So as usual, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up before you head out. And if you want to come back with me to more yard sales, finding cool things to pick up dirt cheap and flip online for a profit, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you never miss a video. As usual, if you're looking for a friendly Facebook group to ask all your reseller questions, you can check out mine link down below called Thrift Nice. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.